AMC stock update. Okay guys, so here's another video about AMC because apparently this is the most widely held stock on Robinhood right now. Okay, but before I get into the video guys, make sure to grab your two free stocks over at Webull. All you have to do is click the link in the description below or go to investortrip.com slash Webull and deposit at least $100 and get your two free stocks up to $1,600 guys. Okay, so okay so now back to AMC now so you know this stock is up actually eight percent today so in my some of my previous videos I, I talked about how over the long run I think that AMC has a lot of problems and if we take a look at the five-year chart of AMC stock we can see that the stock is down about 70 percent over the last five years and if we were to extrapolate a chart so if we were to actually compare this to a another stock chart so let's give you guys another example if we were to type in Netflix here we can see that both of these stocks have been trading in opposite directions so you know while over the last five years AMC stock is down basically 80 percent while Netflix stock is up 450 percent guys okay so obviously the past is not indicative of future results but we can see how the digitization of what movie watching has really taken over and it's really hurt amc but i did mention that i think things are going to recover in june because when the vaccines come out it's going to relieve a lot of worry about people that are meeting in public and things like that and more people will be willing to go to the movie theaters and there was also some videos that were posted by um, I saw a video posted by Jeremy from financial education he made some really really valid points about AMC stock saying that uh, some companies like Disney when they released the Mulan film they were really struggling uh, they spent like 350 million dollars on the film and only made like 30 six million dollars with the release so obviously there is some value value here from amc but what this is for me is this is a trade so for the long run i'm invested in netflix and the numbers don't lie guys so i hold netflix stock obviously do your own research but i'm a netflix subscriber i hold netflix stock i just think it's a better buy but i i do think that there is some upside for a speculative trade on amc so now we're going to take a look at that recent chart that i was talking about so we're going to take netflix off here and go back to that five day chart so what i talked about with this stock is that i was simply waiting for a base so it kind of looks like this base has been formed here right around five dollars and forty cents at the monthly chart we could kind of see that a slow base is forming here guys so one of the things that is really important to mention is that my personal strategy I'm not a day trader okay I'm not really a speculative trader I invest in the best of breed companies and in growth industries so when it comes to movies that's Netflix when it comes to uh, EV charging stations that's charge point when it comes to streaming that's Roku when it comes to uh, online dating apps that's match Dot com stock when it comes to rideshare that's uber so that's my personal strategy and that's a strategy that I've done really well to basically grow my portfolio over time but I do understand that a lot of people here are rooting for AMC stock and there is some upside here but there are a lot of uh, headwinds for this company so you know the company has raised a ton of money and they said that they're going to be liquid and they're going to um, basically weather the storm you know dealing with their whole you know dilution of the stock and things like that but over the long run guys uh the five-year chart it, it 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 really you know doesn't lie so like i said you know always be careful and never invest money that you can't afford to lose but personally i don't really invest in stocks that are down 80 percent over the last five years so obviously a lot of you guys have given me a lot of slack in the comments and even some of you guys have had to ban your comments because um, you know, like I said, this is my personal view. If you guys think that uh, you know more than me about me about AMC stock or anything else, um, you're welcome to upload a video of your own and post it. Like that's what's great about YouTube. Everyone has their own voice. But I would just, uh, you know, kind of look at that. The name of this channel is, you know, Investor Trip. So, does most of the stocks that I'm mentioning on this channel are the stocks that I think are going to be in industries where the growth is trending up, and I'm going after the best of uh, the best leaders in the industry i rarely do swing trades and things like that but with amc i felt that it was such such a beaten down stock the stock is trading at like a market cap of around two billion dollars i figured that there was a lot of upside here so to kind of reiterate my thesis on amc stock i'm all about basically having to fill 
this peak here. So obviously this was where the stock was restricted. And now basically you have a lot of bag holders that bought here and they're either averaging down or they're waiting for the stock to go back up. So it's going to need to be a couple of things that are going to have to take place. Obviously, a lot of the stock has dropped a lot because of dilution. So every time AMC raises money, they dilute your sh your stake in the company. But what we're looking for is we're looking for things to bounce back. So like I said, I said summertime because if we took a look at last year, we saw that stocks absolutely crashed in March. So in March and April were the two of the worst months of the stock market in 2020. And then things started to rebound in the summertime. Why? Because, uh, you know, with uh, the pandemic cases are going to be the highest in the colder months so that's usually like fall and winter and things like that in the spring and summer you're going to have a you know a, a decline in cases so a reason is is simply temperature so with this whole pandemic and with this whole virus and everything it's less likely to proliferate in warmer months so in the summertime you're going to have the fewest cases in the winter time you're going to have a spike in cases so that's exactly what's going on now so my thesis is is that this amc is going to be able to rebound a lot in the summertime i think vaccine technology is wonderful and i think that a lot of people are going to be more open about um you know kind of laxing on social distancing and more willing to go out to the theaters so remember now guys amc is still a legacy business it's kind of like ford right ford was revolutionary in terms of the ice vehicles but the technology is super super outdated and that's one of the reasons why tesla came and took their lunch so this is the same thing with netflix netflix has a better business model that's more scalable and they have a much richer content platform you know netflix has content in all different languages and it's a global business with over 200 million subscribers so like I said I'm never going to sell my Netflix stock because I believe in that business it's one of the best investments of all time for a reason and Netflix has basically been a hope and wish stock if things will turn around even though the business model itself um, it really doesn't work anymore so all the companies that are crushing it right now you've got Google um, Amazon, Tesla, basically tech companies, companies that are embracing technology. So I still need to see a lot of change in AMC until I'm going to really hold on for a long-term investment. I think it's a nice swing trade candidate here. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I'm looking for the stock to buy. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I was looking for a base to form and it kind of looks like this stock may have bottomed. So this is a nice solid base, which means that there's a, a lot of buying pressure coming into here. And, you know, we're trading at slightly higher volume as well, which is one of the key things that I was looking at with this stock so it could be a nice time to, to buy some uh, you know uh, I was watching Jeremy's video he said he was buying at like around five dollars or something like that and I think now that the stock is over six dollars I think you could definitely buy some perhaps use some stop losses if you really want to cut your losses and things like that but like I said guys you know I'm not I'm not against AMC stock as a long-term investment but I just believe Netflix is a better play um, you know the you know the numbers don't lie you know Netflix stock is up over 400% over the last five years and AMC stock is down 80%. So like I said, I try to use compounded annual growth rates. I try to use trailing returns to really, at the end of the day, justify my investment thesis. And I think AMC has some potential here. So the couple of things that I'm personally doing, I started buying a little bit of the stock once it crossed over $6. I figured a lot of the risk of the downside risk of it going much lower is kind of gone now. And the since the stock is up 10%, it's going to be on a lot of people's radars. The volume's up. Uh, it's, it, it's the first green day. So the first green day is a great strategy. I learned this strategy from uh, Timothy Sykes. He talks about buying stocks on that first green day. So here we are on the first green day. I thought about trading this with options, but I'm not really sure exactly how long it's going to take for AMC to truly recover. Perhaps this is a fake out. So what I did, I just simply bought a few shares long. Like I said, I don't have a lot of money in this stock. Um, you know, it's just a speculative play for me. I'm just trying to grow one of my smaller accounts. But uh, that's it for now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button if you enjoyed this content and smash the red subscribe button as well to receive more video updates from me. And I'm going to keep continuously cover AMC stock, guys. I'm going to continuously cover uh, EV stocks and other high growth industries, I think. But I think AMC is a really interesting stock, I think. Uh, it's been beaten down so much and so many people hold it that I think it's worth definitely talking about because we're going to see what happens with AMC if the business is actually going to survive or they're going to have to raise more capital. It'll be really interesting to see what happens. So that's it for next time, guys. And be sure to sign up for my daily stock watch newsletter. I mentioned a lot of stocks that I'm trading there. And also check out my private Discord chat as well. So that's it until next time, guys. Take care.